again. Um, so I'm going to actually take us back to one of the the poster sign public notes uh, that we worked on together uh, when I was last there. And we had talked a little bit about what assessment could look like. Um, and we kind of, you know, talked about group assessment, individual assessment, book clubs, reading standards, all of those kinds of things. Um, and we had looked at some of these different ways in which we might assess. Um, and I just had a couple of, of kind of questions that have popped up that I wanted to address. Um, so one of them was, um, how can we assess the skills from the text itself? So um, I know that I mentioned several times this idea of taking, you know, like a context text and the um, fulcrum text and putting those together and asking kids to analyze in that way, or even going out and finding a new one, right? One of those texture texts and bringing those together and having students do the analysis that way. Um, but the example that I just shared of the invitation, I hope is one way um, in which we can think about using the text right in front of us. We don't necessarily always have to have another text, right? Um, and in the case of the invitation that I just shared, really the other text is the the scenario, right? The context of that student council meeting. That's kind of a text in and of itself, really. Like, how would you, you know, enter into that conversation and so, so on. Um, but it can even be more simple than this, right? So um, in instead of having kids take a quiz, um, you can have them come into class and you can give them a prompt. Like, where was the moment where, um, you know, in the reading that you just did, what's, what, which moment best crystallizes something we have talked about in terms of finding voice um, and why. So you can do a little prompt like that, have them do a little bit of writing. Um, you can pick those kinds of things up. Um, and so I just want to make sure that one of the things that we think about when we're thinking about assessment is that we certainly have kind of these larger summative pieces, um, but I actually, the, the invitation that I just shared with you, I wouldn't even call that like a big summative piece necessarily. I'd still would call that a version of practice. Um, but even if you do like the really small ones, right? Like the one that I just mentioned about, give me the example from what you read. Um, you're still constantly practicing these skills of finding textual evidence instead of it being given to them. Um, and then having learning to say something about it. Um, and so that can be just as important as really, um, you know, that big summative piece because we somehow have to get to that summative piece and we get there with lots of practice. Um, and we don't want all of our practice to feel like a big, huge grade, right? We want a lot of our practice, we want most of our practice, that's why it's practice, um, to feel like it is similar to the work that we're doing. It's a way of practicing those skills, but it is not just word for word that big summative assessment at the end.